Well, we just received a new extensive update on the investigation to the deadly shooting on the set of the Alec Baldwin movie Rust. The Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office just released some never before seen evidence. And News Force Rana Novini has been going through that for us up in the newsroom. Rana, what'd you find out? Well, Natalie, the Santa Fe County Sheriff, as you said, released all files associated with this October 21st shooting and investigation. We are going through it now. It includes rehearsal footage from the movie, videos of interviews with witnesses, and body camera footage of the law enforcement response. New video from a Santa Fe, New Mexico sheriff deputy's body camera shows the frantic response to the Rust movie set. As the deputy arrives, you see first responders trying to save the lives of two shooting victims on the ground. The victims, the film's director and cinematographer. We've blurred the images that show cinematographer Helena Hutchins, who ultimately died of her injuries. She was airlifted to a hospital where she was pronounced dead. The film's director, Joel Sousa, survived. It was Baldwin who pointed the gun at Hutchins while they were filming a scene. Turns out the revolver was loaded with a real bullet, the subject of a months-long investigation. Today, the Santa Fe Sheriff's Office released a trove of evidence, including video of the scene Baldwin was shooting when the gun went off. You see him holding the revolver. The set for the Western film, a small church at a ranch on the outskirts of Santa Fe. Newly released photos show the aftermath of the chaos. The bullets were covered and the gun investigators say was used. Hi, I'm calling back from Bonanza Creek Ranch. We actually need two ambulances, not one. For the first time, we're also hearing the 911 calls, pleading for help. So was it loaded with a real bullet or one? We don't, I, don't, I cannot tell you that. Okay. We have two injuries from a movie gun shot. Okay, we're getting them out there already. Just stay on the phone with me. And Alec Baldwin has said that he was told the gun was not loaded, and he says he did not pull the trigger. Last week, the movie's production company was issued a citation for not following firearm safety procedures. The company was hit with a nearly $140,000 fine. Rust Movie Productions LLC responded to that, saying it disagrees with the findings and plans to appeal. The investigation is still open and ongoing. No criminal charges have been filed at this point. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rana Novini, News 4 New York.